my friends of the internet. Uh, it's the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, the time is counting down toward Christmas. I know some of y'all are still thinking about making Christmas presents. So I've got a few tips, tricks, and techniques to help you become a better wood turner or to come up with some ideas for, for Christmas. So let's talk about it. I want to show you a few kits. I was going through some of the uh, items I have. You know, when you've been turning a few years, you start accumulating uh, things. So I've got a few kits, and I want to talk about those. And then I've got a few turning projects I'll mention. You know, I've been making videos now for eight years, and I know a lot of y'all are not going to go back and, and look, look at all 500 videos. So I thought I would just highlight a few of them that are related, that I think uh, are really great ideas for Christmas gifts, so they might be for the right individual. So I just wanted to mention them, and there'll be a link to some of those uh, above, and, and maybe a few more at the end of this video. All right, let's talk a little bit about kits. Let me pull out some items here. Uh, so if you're talking about a guy, here's a couple of my favorite ideas. First one is awls. I love to make these. They're they're, they're great gifts for anybody with a toolbox. They don't have to be a wood turner. Um, handles are easy. The steel is spring steel. You can buy it from Amazon. It's shown on my Amazon store. You buy seven three-foot rods for oh, about $20 or so. Uh, shipping included. Very hard. Uh, good tool steel. Not high-speed steel, so you got to be careful not to blue it. The key is this uh, birdcage all grind on it that actually cuts a hole. Next one is these uh, screwdriver kits. Uh, this one I've had for over 10 years. It's got a, uh, uh, I forget the, 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 the wood, it'll come to me. Very, very hard. It's dropped on the concrete floor. I don't know how many times it's got a few dings in it, but it's a four way. Uh, so it's got a regular screwdriver, Phillips, and, and a flathead, as well as these Robertson, which I really like. Uh, once I started woodworking, I started using Robertson square headed screws, and it comes with a large and a small. Uh, uh, Robertson. So I keep this by my lathe and, and use it uh, uh, quite a bit. An alternative to buying these these kits, you can get these kits from uh, Rockler and Highland. Uh, this particular kit I think came from Rockler. Uh, another uh, option is to buy an inexpensive, sometimes you can get these on sale for two bucks, uh, a four uh, four-in-one screwdriver from Harbor Freight or Home Depot and then you just take it loose. Another easy, this is not a kit, but uh, it's a great simple little spindle project gift and that's a uh, business card holder. Very, very nice. There's different designs. Uh, I gave one to my uh, niece and I visited her out in Houston in her office and she had that thing proudly sitting on her desk with business cards. Uh, she's a, a vice president in her company so it made me feel very 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 proud and I know she really appreciated it but these these are great great gifts for anybody with a cubicle with business cards or or an or an office uh, another is pens I don't turn a lot of pens but they do make good gifts and if you'd buy them uh, buy some way of uh, showing it uh, or, or storing it displaying it uh, you know in these little velvet covers they're very inexpensive but they, they add a nice little uh, touch if you're going to buy stuff from, say, Craft Supply, here's some items to look at. Buy some of these little plastic test tubes. Uh, you don't need the tops to them, uh, but they're great for bud vase. Uh, brass plated uh, or brass uh, inserts for candlesticks. Uh, they're, they're inexpensive, so if you're going to pay shipping, go ahead and buy some of these things. Or if you get one of their free sh company with a free shipping offer that has these kinds of items, go ahead and pick up a few. Uh, they're they're dirt cheap and you can set them on in your kit box and have them when you salt and pepper uh, kits are nice uh, I'm not a big favor of the the metal tops the key is getting these uh, bungs you don't have to get a kit to get the bungs you can just buy these things they're not real expensive but they're really essential almost if you're making um, salt and and pepper kits I've got a video on making a, a, I mean, salt and pepper shaker. I've got a video on making a salt and pepper shaker. Uh, that, And here's that salt and pepper shaker I, I made a video on. I'll have a link here above. But these are very attractive, and the bungs make it easy to, uh, I'm not going to bother to pull it out. They, they're in there pretty good. you got to get your fingernail around them. But, but uh, white one is for salt. Uh, I think that was oak, and the dark one is walnut for the pepper. 
pepper grinders. These are great projects. I did a recent video on this uh, pepper grinder. This is using a crush grind kit. I did a video comparing the crush grind versus the Chef Specialty. Another one is the uh, potpourri uh, bowls. These pewter covers really kick up a potpourri uh, bowl uh, a notch. You can get these from any number of different vendors. You can get them on, I think you can find them on M Amazon, uh, Penn State sells them, Craft Supply sells them. They're not real expensive. Uh, this doesn't require a kit, but it makes a nice gift for a young young lady or an older lady to put your ring on, and then you got this little cup around the uh, edge that you could put. Uh, they could put ear earrings in. I don't have any earrings personally to store in one, so I don't use one. <laughs> uh, Cutting board is an easy project. This was I had this wood already uh, given to me, and it was already cut in layers of of maple. I've got a video on that. All I had to do was was add a, a, a walnut handle, which kind of kicked it up a notch. And then to go with it, you can turn a project. Make sure the make sure the handle is not as thick as the cutting board so when it lays down flat it will rest on the board not on the handle and to go with them uh, there's lots of kits to go with them such as uh, cheese knives uh, a lot of handled uh, kits there's a bread knife or a, a wedding cake uh, knife uh, pie server all kinds of butter spreaders or or cheese spreaders and they're nice projects they're fairly inexpensive. Pay attention to the quality. Uh, there's a lot of uh, quality control issues with some of the cheaper uh, kit. The ones that I'm showing here are not very expensive and, and not necessarily the best quality. And, and even though they look like they were similar, they had similar different size holes, as I found out. Uh, I drilled one that fit one, and then the next kit that looked like it mounted the same way from the same company uh, needed a smaller hole. But there's different kinds of cheese. You can find out what they're for. Uh, on the internet. Uh, this shows a laminated handle I made a long time ago and this is just a uh, what I'm showing here is is if you do segmentation work you may have something like this if you're not you can make them and and they make nice handles for th things uh, such as uh, ice cream scoops or the the cheese cheese knife uh, handle just kicks up up a notch these aren't kits, but they make great gifts, and that's a captive ring tool. I've got uh, one or two videos on that. And this is kind of old school, but I keep one in my kitchen very handy. They work real well, and that's just a uh, letter opener. Uh, exotic woods work well, but uh, any hardwood will work. Great kit makes a good gift is, is bottle openers. Uh, this one is from Ruth Niles, and... She makes a bottle, stainless steel bottle opener for just about every possible bottle. So not only uh, wine connoisseurs, but you've got a small, medium, and large stopper that fits different types of whiskey bottles. Uh, you've got, got some that will fit in bottles for uh, oil and vinegar. Uh, she also has a kit for a bottle opener, uh, also a kit that's, that's used for a uh, tab tab lifter that's this one right here if I can ever get it out tab lifter on a, on a pop uh, pop top bottle you could put one on each end and make it a two for one but uh, those are nice gifts and of course uh, pizza cutters now, again quality varies this big one is very inexpensive and it's kind of rickety um, I'm not sure frankly I'm not sure I would want to give this away to anybody is uh, very close to me because you know it's got these stamped steel uh, ferrules which aren't very very attractive and probably lend themselves to rust in there even when the two sides come together there's a, a lot of play in it um, so quality does make a difference but but they're inexpensive this one I think is less than five dollars uh, but a better and it's got this uh, bolster uh, on it but a better quality kit is this miniature one from uh, Wood River or, or Woodcraft. It's uh, got a, a thicker uh, cutter, very, very solid uh, mechanism to hold that cutter. It's got a larger uh, threaded rod. Uh, 
I forget how many threads branch, but it actually comes with a, a threaded insert so you could actually take the metal cutter out to wash it if you wanted to do so in a dishwasher and not and not damage the handle but uh, it costs a little bit more but it, it's much much higher quality and of course you don't need kits for Christmas tree ornaments uh, you can make just a solid ornament like this but you do you like wood and make them a little bit smaller they're not too heavy but uh, my favorite is birdhouse uh, miniature birdhouse ornaments with a turned bird that you place on the roof uh, I've got a video on turning those birds and turning those miniatures uh, you can also buy the birds from places like uh, Hobby Lobby or, or Michael. Sometimes you got to look around. But trouble is, one little flick, you put them on with CA, one little flick, they come off. Where the turn ones, they're mounted with a little wire rod that, that fastens the head to the body to the top. Uh, angel ornaments, this is one of my, my favorite ornaments. Uh, this is one of the first videos I made is on this particular ornament and got my channel kick-started, but, but they're, they're lovely. And another one of these uh, begun popular lately, gonks or elves or Nordic nissies, uh, whatever you want to call them, with faux fur. Uh, there's all kinds of different things you can do with the hats. Uh, that, but the faux fur glued on in front. Very simple. Looks a little bit like a birdhouse ornament. It's again use light wood because it's not hollowed out, but they're not very heavy because they're not very large. If you're giving an ornament away uh, for about a buck and a half, if you buy these things in lots of six or eight or ten or something, you get them on Amazon. I've got them on my Amazon shop. You can find them there. Uh, they can display that ornament all year round. So for about a buck and a half, you can really kick up the, your ornament, uh, kick it up a notch. Just a few quick ideas. Uh, I know some of y'all probably got other ideas. If so, please leave them in the comments below. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.